My name is Josh Cook, and uh, over here to my left, we've got the impeccable Thomas Nielsen. Uh, That's me. My good pal. He does art. He does everything. Um, so we're going to have him uh, doing some art throughout the show. Uh, for a change, we're going to have some art going on in the background. Tom, we'll check in with you regularly. Um, tell us what you'll be drawing today. Uh, I'll be drawing the current scene we're in right now. That's this fantastic. Kind of, this little piece of the studio. Nice, nice. Yeah, um, ideas. Now, I suggested this today, Tom, because I thought um, that you would have some interesting takes on the space, um, where we are, and what exactly is happening, because I know you've got just a real crazy mind yeah. and uh, an interesting mindset on things. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need some fresh paper? Yes. Yeah, there's some right. underneath you. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, Tom this time actually brought all of his professional art tools and everything. Well, I wouldn't say that. Um, can you give us a quick rundown on what you're using today? Today I will be using, like, there's just a couple of things. This is a graphite stick. Yeah, it's basically just a big old pencil. Got a charcoal pencil. Regular pencil. Uh, black pastel several types of vine charcoal, and two erasers. Excellent. I, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, you seem to enjoy charcoal, right? Yeah. Is that kind of your current medium that you're working with? Not so much, but I've just used it a lot in art classes back at the FBCC. Oh, okay, cool. So cool. I'm familiar with it. You're familiar, and would you say that you enjoy it a lot? I do enjoy as compared to certain other types of, yeah. uh, certain other art mediums. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to put things down. Yeah, yeah. It's easy to change. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it's pretty graceful. Okay, Except, nice. Unless it's like really dense charcoal. Okay, so do you usually start out lightly and then? Yeah. All right. You usually start out, you can start out with pencil, you can start out with fine charcoal, whatever. Awesome. when you get dark is when you have to start being careful. Yeah. Well, we'll keep checking in with you to see uh, the process of charcoal art and how it works. Yeah. So we're going to go straight to the weather outside. It's frightful, um, but it's looking like on Sunday it's going to become quite delightful. Uh, today we have a 20% 20, 20 chance of uh, thunderstorms, just a whole lot of rain, um, which is not a bad thing because we are headed into fire season. Um, as I talked about last show, um, it's we've already had some wildfires in Canada, but hopefully um, this rain will kind of quell those. So we got a high of 59 today. Uh, not great, but tonight it'll be only down to 40, so a slight change in temperature. Um, it's been quite humid, though, I should tell you. So uh, not too cold for walking still. Grab your umbrellas. Go for a walk. Tomorrow, a uh, 40% chance of showers with a high of 59 once more and a low of 40 in the night with some showers and also partly cloudy. Sunday, it's going to be entirely sunny, so they say, uh, with a high of 70 degrees Fahrenheit Sunday night, low of 44. Monday, we're looking at a high of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, getting back into that summer weather as we are in it. 77 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly sunny. That night, though, it'll be partly cloudy with a low of 49, so, you know, get cozy. Uh, Tuesday, mostly sunny again with a high of 82. You can see those temperatures rising after this bit of rain. Um, I think it'll be great. I think it's going to be uh, nice. We're heading into the summer. My apartment is heating up. I love it. Um, so, moving on, I'd like to talk about some... Local Missoula news. These are some news topics that I found interesting today. Um, Missoula's farmer's market. Um, I wanted to talk about this again. SNAP benefits, food stamps, are um, being used once more at the farmer's market. But this year, uh, at the Tuesday market, uh, you get double the SNAP benefits for fresh vegetables uh, and produce um, while you get regular SNAP benefits on everything else. 
So basically for every $10, you have another buying power of an extra $10 for fruits and veggies, uh, which is really nice. It encourages uh, people to eat a little healthier um, because you can afford more. And it helps out the vendors too because they get benefits from that as well. It's like they're selling twice this stuff. You're getting twice this stuff. Um, it's really just great all around, and so you should check that out if you use SNAP benefits. Um, at Tuesday's market. Uh, I thought I'd mention this again because I really just found this amazing. Uh, Runner's Edge uh, in 2019 was uh, labeled one of the best running stores in America. Um, other top contenders included companies with several locations uh, operating in Baltimore and Maryland and they chose a little old shoe shop in Missoula. Um, yeah, and Anders Brooker, who opened it in 2001, said that there are amazing companies that have multiple stores. With their one store, they're able to focus on Missoula and what role they play here and in Western Montana as a whole. Um, yeah, it's just really amazing. Um, a place real close to me. Um, I, I love this store, honestly. I've been there a few times myself. And... I am very proud to have a local Missoula shop um, proclaimed one of the best in America this year. Um, another topic that is a rather hot topic these days is the introduction of e-bikes and scooters to Missoula. Um, I figured this would happen at some point. Didn't expect it so soon. Uh, I took a trip to Seattle not too long ago. And that was kind of my first introduction to the use of e-bikes and scooters. It's a really cool system where you can basically um, rent transportation. If you don't have a bike of your own that you want to use, you can just rent one, uh, use it for a while, pay pretty low fees, and leave it at another, another stop. It's kind of like a bus, but uh, you can just use it whenever. Um, so they're updating regulations according to how these are going to work. Uh, the meat of the rules surrounding their use is in the city park codes. A public hearing on the bike ordinance is set for, well that actually happened uh, about a week ago, uh, but it's going to be followed by a June 17th hearing on the city park ordinance. Um, it clarifies the use of other things like adult beverages in city parks trails and open spaces, and it lists uh, 28 types of prohibited conduct um, ranging from blocking a trail to flying drones, which as I mentioned once again will affect Scott uh, a lot and I hope that he can cope with that because he loves flying his drone just everywhere. Um, we've got some really cool footage that I might show next week with his permission. Um, Okay, here's some very fresh news. Um, there's some ground being broken on West Broadway. Um, a firm behind the project is going to be celebrating a groundbreaking on Monday. Broadway Opportunity Fund plans to construct the building on 1.5 acres at 2000 Maple Street to serve as the future home of the DJ, DJNA. The larger 6.5 acre parcel purchased by Engineer Support Services, LLC, in 2017, and also is expected to be redeveloped. So we've got some larger businesses moving in there. Um, the mayor said, uh, John Engen, um, in doing so, they're creating jobs and opportunities for prosperity in the community. Uh, in addition to the DJ&A, there will be, um, there's gonna be 24,000 square feet on three separate floors, a restaurant, um, yet to be determined, I think. Um, and a small leased office that will also be part of the new structure. Um, everybody behind the project believes that it will be a catalyst for future development within Herbal Renewal District 2, which spans portions of the West Broadway Corridor. So that'll be interesting, bringing in new jobs to the community. Uh, we've been hearing about that a lot. Um, there's a lot of renovations being done all around the city things being improved, business is growing. Um, I'm seeing a lot of great growth for this little city of ours. Um, 
here's some extra interesting news that you should be aware of. Uh, over the weekend, the Missoula County Sheriff's Office received some reports of miscellaneous crimes being committed in different neighborhoods around the county, which they say isn't unusual as we start to make our way into the warmer summer months. Um, I thought that this piece of news was important because um, I was not personally aware of that, that there is a noticeable uptick of crime in Missoula uh, or just in Western Montana in general um, during our transition into the summer months. Um, so over the weekend, they had a few reports of some criminal mischief and some theft cases. And, uh, as it gets warmer, they uh, tend to see an uptick every year, um, mostly in the low, low area and target range. They had some property damage. Um, yeah, so that's a good thing to be aware of. Um, I wouldn't say get paranoid about it, but definitely consider it. Uh, if you'd like more information on that, uh, please check your new source of, uh, of choice. So that's uh, most of our local news that stood out to me. So like I always say, if you'd like to hear more local news, you know, it's your choice. Go where you will, but please support your local media. Um, now I'm going to throw it to a quick ad, actually not just for MCAT, but for our um, ongoing series hosted by our own Rowan Lemus um, called Dude I Just Drew. Um, and I will tell you more about it uh, after this uh, clip of our summer highlights with the show. So please enjoy. Welcome to another uh, show. Dude, I just do, I, I guess. He's one part two. <laughs> Now that we know, oh yeah, and I'm rolling in this with the host. <laughs> and now that we know, we're gonna go. Um, five minutes per drawing. Uh, we do coin toss. Do
<laughs> draw a card and it says in parentheses, I'm very clever. Draw, draw a, card. a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. A card. Yeah. Card. Any kind of card, Any I suppose. Any kind of card, okay. Card, a birthday card, a plain card. Uh, okay. Card sounds like an Austin suggestion. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I got, feel like I got all had the uh, I am very clever before. <laughs> like that in parentheses. That sounds like a movie title. Okay. <laughs> um, so this one so far is just kind of pretty. Card. <laughs> I worked for Hallmark Cards for years, matter of fact. That's all like as a cartoonist and writer. Huh. Oh, really? Yeah, so I've done, I don't even know how many greeting cards I've done. So here's a round advantage, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that, though, because it's like if you've done that many, sometimes you might just need to leave it up to somebody new to do the cards. Hmm. Cards. Cards never change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I think I'm done. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, I like it already. It's like a Monopoly dude. He kind of <laughs> looks. He money. looks. He looks like the get the jail get out of jail free dude the running guy what's his special effect what's his special effect wait are you like making like a pokemon <clears throat> card or a Yu Gi Oh card like, like magic like it's a like a magic like oh a, a card see i did a greeting card and he's doing a game card yeah, so like, ah card? world's <laughs> colliding it kind of looks like pac-man's about to eat that guy <laughs> it does. Oh. oh no or it's a lobster's revenge or it's just a giant like, no oh, I like that. That's really neat. So what I've learned from this game so far is sign your stuff early. <laughs> before the, like, even before you're finished, like, sign it and then... And you're signing yours in a different language. I, uh, yeah, I'm Coolio. Doing, I'm doing these, little, these little things because I don't feel like writing right now. <laughs> I just want to do it. Oh, I like that drawing a lot. Coolio. Oh, nice. Remind me to tell you about the memes. Yes. Oh, nice. Very nice. Card. <laughs> oh, I like it. So, uh, draw your weirdest dream or worst nightmare. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh! And I have time to think about mine. Now, I have one very, very strange dream. I have to describe it as a oh, Worst dream. nightmare. Well, I think I already drew my worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I had a very strange dream. I like ghosts. Ooh, they're ghosts. <laughs> Where they're spirits. Very strange things in my dream. Like okay, so that was just a small preview um, of what you could check out. Um, sorry about those audio glitches in the beginning, because, like, yeah, right? Uh, right? Uh, Text's weird. Uh, but that was, dude, I just drew a little bit of it. Don't worry, most of the time we have audio unless I'm running things, and then we don't. So, I'm not running anything for the next few episodes, so they're going to be perfect. Um, so, yeah, you can look forward to that. Uh, we're doing some summer episodes, uh, Sunday nights this summer. Um, so this Sunday night we're um, having a man named Michael Wilcox on the show um, he knows Rowan I think he, he's a good pal of Rowan's I believe um, I didn't recognize the name but you will recognize the name when you see him on this Sunday night's 7 p.m. debut of the summer edition of dude I just drew um, so look forward to that. If you want to check out more Dude I Just Drew, we've got a whole YouTube channel that you can look up. You just type in Dude I Just Drew. And you'll see people drawing and doing that drawing. Uh, speaking of drawing, I want to just throw it over to Tom real quick. Tom, can we see your progress so far? Yeah. This is what I got going. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about um, where you're headed in this direction? I'm thinking... I want to make the room 
at least appear much bigger than it actually is. Because I want to fit some big things in here. Okay. Um, we can make some things huge. Oh, could you, could you flip that around for us real quick? Flip it around. Okay, yeah, just um, maybe point out a couple things that uh, kind of piqued your interest a little bit. Yeah. During this drawing process. Well, one thing I've noted, one thing I've been doing is, well, the perspective of the room, I've been sort of adhering to the laws of perspective. Like you get a little point and basically everything goes away from that. And, you know, there's, if you're going re very realistic, you know, you do more points of perspective. But the thing is when you have like, like often having just like all the lines going away from a single point can really create a space really well. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Um, it's definitely an interesting take on the room, um, perspective-wise. Uh, a little trippy. I'm really interested to see where this goes. Mm -hmm. And you can see where it goes if you uh, stay with us. And we'll check in with Tom a little more throughout the episode, see how that uh, ends up. So um, now I'm on to the topic of MCAT summer camps. These are very important. They're near and dear to my heart. And they should be near and dear to yours because I believe we've still got spots open for um, several camps. Time Travelers Camp. This camp is going to be amazing and you should, uh, you should submit your child for a good time at Time Travelers Camp. They're going to go to uh, the Historic Museum and Fort Missoula to learn more about uh, history and um, Sorry? Spaces are limited, Neil tells me. <laughs> but um, that's all the more reason why you should get your kid enrolled right now. Um, if you want to enroll your kid into any of these camps, I should just state that now. Um, you should go to our website. And it, it's got a tab that says, in plain terms, how do I? And under that tab, you can Click MCAT Summer Camps 2019. Um, if you look at this, it shows you exactly, um, it, it gives you all of the information that you need, what age your child is, and um, which camps you can uh, enter your kids into. Um, as I can see here, Animation Camp 2 is full right now. Uh, we've still got a few spaces left, just a few very small amount of space is left in Time Travelers Camp. Um, and if you left in Animation Camp 1, um, I really gotta hype this up. Like, Zombie Camp is so amazing. I actually have um, next to me a prop that our own Neil Wells behind the computer over there made himself. This is disgusting. And it's just what your zombie movie needs. Um, Neil's an absolute whiz with prosthetics and just zombie makeup in general. And um, he can teach how to do those things. And um, if your kid wants to be a zombie, he can be a zombie. They can film zombies. They can write this movie um, over this animation, or <laughs> not animation, zombie camp. All sorts of zombies. Uh, this one seems to have some sort of crab-like tendrils coming out of its face. This could be your child's face. Um, but please do consider the fact that this is ages 14 and up only. Um, they must be at least 14 to enter this camp uh, so that your kid doesn't get scarred for life like me. But Montana Time Travelers Camp as well is uh, one of our other most interesting camps. Um, it's almost full. Your kid can learn a lot about history while having just an amazing time uh, writing a script, writing a story, uh, getting invested in history and uh, showing that through art. Um, and Animation Camp, um, actually I, I have some impressive animations right here that I would like to show to you as well. Um, this animation is only known as 
ocean catastrophe, and it was made at one of our Saturday drop-in animation camps. Uh, but just imagine, compared to this, what your kid could accomplish in a couple weeks, you know? Um, working here, one, in one week, working here with our staff and um, just learning everything about this. I'm gonna throw it right to this video right now. short but that was an impressive amount of frames per second and um, whereas our Saturday drop-ins are only a few hours long um, that's what can be achieved um, and even more can be achieved within a few hours imagine a week of your kid learning how to um, how to animate stuff like that and even get better at it over time how to really get invested into it um, how to be patient with stop motion animation um, and how that patience can benefit them uh, in the future. And so, like I said, if you want to sign up for any of these camps, you can check out uh, MCAT.org and uh, go to How Do I and look at those camps. Uh, I should also note that the, um, the website uh, is a great uh, source for everything that we do here. You can check out channel 189, see what's happening, watch us on there. You can check out channel 190, which we also do um, to check out some, I think we do like local, local government, um, all sorts of interesting stuff. Uh, you can click on local live. You can actually make your own show here if you like. Spaces are always open and um, we're always looking for new produ uh, producers, so if you have a great idea for any kind of show, really just any kind of show that you would like to put out there for people to enjoy, hit us up. Uh, just fill out some paperwork, um, maybe just like a couple sheets of paper, and you can make your own show. It's a really amazing resource. We've got the stuff that you need to make your own uh, media. We are media resource. So um, now that I've sold you the whole the whole kit and caboodle on MCAT, I'd like to throw it once more to uh, Tom Nielsen um, before I talk about some local Missoula events. Tom, what's that look like? Oh, it's, it's getting kind of weird, honestly. Oh, man, wait. Hold on. Like... It's certainly fell into the surrealist. Whoa, is that you? Yeah. My God. <laughs> Where? See it. Now, are you going to incorporate Neil into this, too? It's possible. It's very possible. What? what? Um, from this oh, point, yeah. of view, point of how view, how do you think you'd incorporate? Oh, it's from his point of view, I see. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's like his view of you from one camera, and that's his view of me from the other? Correct. It's more, Maybe. It's more just this scene is just this is dissolving. Interesting. It's, it's breaking down. No, I like something. where this is going. Yeah. At um, first, I just wanted to make me like really big, and that would just be weird. But now it's just getting weird. I don't know. You definitely got like the hunched over body shape nailed. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's exaggerated for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's just me, though, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're pretty exaggerated some, sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, wrap up all my talking stuff real quick, Tom, and I'm going to join you over there. Okie um, dokie. Uh, have a nice chat about what's going on in your brain. All right, Missoula events happening right now. Um, today is uh, a Friday, so... Nothing much going on in the library, but at 11, 
They're having hands-on science at Spectrum Discovery Area. Um, it's open for visitors of all ages to explore science through engaging exhibits and activities. Uh, join them at 812 Tool Avenue. It's 350 for anyone four and over. If you're under three, you get in for free. That's really catchy, I love it. Uh, today they're doing um, the anatomy of the heart. So you can enjoy looking at the anatomy of a pig heart at their discovery bench. Wow. Uh, pig heart. If you want your child to check out a pig heart, go there at 11. Um, uh, as usual, the senior center, they're having uh, cribbage at 12.30. Um, 12.45, they're, they're doing bridge, wait. Yeah, cribbage and then bridge. Sorry, those sound really similar. Um, some other notable events, four o'clock tonight, Nerf on the Turf at Missoula Indoor Sports Arena. Um, I'm thinking about doing this. I'm actually considering grabbing my Nerf guns and going out on the turf. Um, Although I know that some nine-year-old kid is going to say, no, you didn't hit me, uh, it missed. And I know that they're lying, but that's why I usually avoid nerf fights. But you shouldn't, it, it, it'll be fun. Go there, check it out. At four o'clock also tonight, uh, they're having a predator feeding at Missoula Insectarium. They do these pretty often. Um, and it's really cool just to see like how predators uh, attack and absolutely destroy their prey. Um, it's pretty brutal, but also really interesting. So you can check that out at four. Um, those were some of the most notable things that I found for today. But um, if you want to check out what else is going, uh, there's some musical stuff going on as well. But um, yeah, there's uh, Bill LaCroix. Bagels on Broadway, playing some folk music. Um, that Oh yeah, that's at 11 as well, so consider that very quickly. It's happening soon. Um, and there's uh, some American blues and ceramics happening at Lake Missoula Tea Company uh, as a part of First Friday. And that's just one of many things that are happening tonight because it's First Friday. Uh, it's a big event here in Missoula that you probably know about and you should engage in that. There's just so many things happening tonight due to that that I can't really get to all of them. Tomorrow, of course, uh, Missoula Farmer's Market starts at eight um, all around downtown. You can't miss it because it's literally everywhere. And um, yeah, especially in Karis Park, you should check that out. Um, yeah, and then you've got also at the Missoula Indoor Sports Arena tomorrow at 9 a.m. They're having uh, open time uh, there where you can just check out the area and enjoy it. Uh, of other note, Puzzle Club at the Black Cat uh, <gasps> Bake Shop. Um, you can join in on some uh, puzzles. Puzzle Club, it's a brain injury support group actually, helping folks find the pieces of their life after brain injury and a place for them in their life's puzzle. Um, a very important event that I thought I should make note of. It's every Saturday at 9 a.m., so you should know. Uh, all brain injuries are welcome, including strokes, TBI, aneurysms, etc., including family or caregivers. Um, so definitely check that out, and if you have anything else that you would like to check out, um, yeah, go to MissoulaEvents.net and check it out. Plan your day accordingly. And, uh, yeah, that's what I have to talk about today. We've covered many topics today. We've covered our local news, um, our local events, uh, everything that the great MCAT is doing. Oh, shoot, you know what I forgot to mention, though, is this thing. Can we get a zoom in on this? Can you, can you just zoom out? I'll, I'll hold it still. We just got these in, and uh, I believe they are for campers. Campers. These are wristbands uh, that have 8 gigabyte USB uh, flash drives inside. 
So um, if I understood correctly, right, Neil? These are for campers? Yeah, these are for campers. Uh, so they can keep track of their videos, right? They can make their video, um, maybe like a stop motion animation, for instance, and then they can load it onto this USB drive, and then they can just put it around their wrist and take it home. Maybe put their name on it so that they don't lose it. Um, but literally, it's attached to their wrist. It's harder to lose this. Um, really convenient. I've been wearing this for like three days straight. I actually kind of just forgot that it was there. Um, <laughs> honestly, like I haven't taken this off. Uh, uh, I, I ain't took this off for quite a while now. Um, so cool. Uh, consider all of those things and plan yourself accordingly. Now I'd like to take some time to go uh, sit in with my friend Tom. I'm going to do a real easy, quick transition that I'm sure Neil was expecting totally. Now, Tom, I'm just going to look over here for a minute and see, oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, can you turn that just around happened. for the camera real quick? Uh, so know. there's a lot going on here now. Um, you've added some shading, I see. Yes. Um, That's an important thing, y'all. I'm going to get a quick put some structure reaction in there. from Neil. Neil, what are you thinking? What's this stuff? What is this stuff? I totally forgot. I forgot. Wait, let me let me try that again, Neil. What's this stuff? What's this stuff? Oh, my That's God. That's Scott original meme. Uh, it's really yeah. just dissolving in my hands. Yeah. No, I like that. It's very, the the thought of dissolving uh, reminds yeah. me kind of what was it? MC Escher with the clocks. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. That was more melting, but I, yeah, it makes sense that with the charcoal, you're kind of dissolving into it. I'd like to give some. Mm -hmm. uh, as I usually play the piano on the show, I'd like to go back to my roots. Um, I made a song just for you. Let me practice it real quick. Since I gave you a topic to draw on, I'd like you to give me a topic to sing on. Because uh, if you didn't know, I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> and <laughs> things. And, uh, how about things old and not yet gone? Oh wow! Because that's sort of my theme here, but it's a little darker. Deep. Um, let me think about this. Things old. Not yet gone. My grandpa, he's old now, but not quite in the past. I feel like I shouldn't um, <laughs> make that about my grandpa. That's it's kind of. Yeah, it might get dated real quick. <laughs> um, things old, but uh, not yet past. Oh, um, I like playing games on my NES. I'm the best at the NES. I played uh, second three, no. For my NES, it's the best. Tom, give me another topic. Uh, this sing about one the... is super hard. Sing about the room. About the room? About the room. Okay. Not, yeah, the, one, not the time he was, though. But this There's a huge monster Tom in the corner. He's drawing something strange. It's another larger version of him. And he's got some large shanks. He's staring at the wall. And he draws a little face. The big old Tom in the corner. Tech for me, and then he has to deal with my stuff. With my stuff, I can't curse on there, so. Neil puts up with lots of things, he can't buy no diamond rings. I'm sorry, Neil. Best Buy ruined his life and I feel bad. 
Best Buy give him his gosh darn paycheck for one time. No, seriously, it's, it's getting bad. Like, he might be going to court. Please go to court and show the corporate guys that they can't push Neil Wells around. Push him around, Neil. Just push him back a little. Thank you for the topic, yeah. Tom. That was, actually, that was good. Thanks, man. I really man. liked it. Um, yeah, do you have any other topics? Because like, uh, like, I've got other songs, and you, you don't seem like you're quite done drawing yet. Sing about. I want to see this like fully completed. Neil, do you have a topic that you want me to sing about? Um, what should I sing about? Okay. It's been tough, it's been tough, it's a little bit tough because I wasn't expecting it. Anything else? That was beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't kind of expecting it, I just didn't think it would be this hard. It's been really difficult. Sing my frustrations away? Just okay. don't do it too hard, otherwise you might swear. Um, yeah, I have to, uh, my gosh darn roommates are terrible sometimes. No, they'll get mad at me. Let me come up with a new, uh... Uh, chill it down a little bit and switch my uh, electric piano. It's the same piano, but it does different sounds. Um, I still don't have many frustrations, Neil. I'm frustrated for you. Frustrated with you. Um, I'm frustrated um, that this piano only has like two uh, normal sounding instruments. It's got four different pianos. Let me just. There's one. And it's got this really hokey electric piano. Um, actually, I kind of like that one. And then it's got the chill electric piano, right? Um, and then it's got harpsichord. Yeah, so um, it is my favorite keyboard that I've come into contact with recently, though. Uh, Tom, what the heck's going on? Oh, it's just getting worse. Could you flip that towards the camera once more? <sighs> um, I see you going full scream yeah. with it. I'm getting, I'm getting lost in the <laughs> sauce here, honestly. Lost in the sauce, you say? Yeah. I feel like in this depiction of the room, I'm just kind of there. Yeah. And you're in, like, the nether realm over there. Yeah, something's happening. Oh, you know what that face reminds me of? What? Um, Princess and the Frog, you know, the, um, the, like, Shadow Man song? That yeah. We got friends on the other, yeah. Reminds me of those, like, kind of tiki heads that, um, Kind of, yeah. That, reminds me of salad fingers. 
It reminds uh, Neil of salad fingers. Don't look that up. I know what that Neil's is. Viewers at home enjoy don't some weird YouTube videos. I'm sorry, Neil. Let me write a song about it. No. No. Sing about how the opera wronged you. About what? How the opera wronged you. Uh. Is that a Phantom of the Opera reference? I guess. Uh, I've never been to an opera. <laughs> um, no, I'll just. I was thinking about YouTube, uh, Neil's YouTube preferences. Uh, as a zombie man himself, like I, I swear I'm not sure if he's a zombie or not. Uh, he never shows himself on camera, very rarely. The last time he showed himself on camera, it was in a full face mask suit that was green. jogging down Higgins on the bridge and handing out candy to little children and I I felt like that was a huge mi miscalculation because yeah we were the Irish flag right uh, but we kept getting separated so without the context of it we kind of just looked like actual maniacs and I don't think that was he's a maniac maniac on the Oh yeah, Neil's, uh, Neil showed me a video the other day where it's just a sketch that's, um, where everything is just entirely made of meat. Hmm. Just like real, real meaty, and uh, I did not enjoy it. He's a meat man, driving a meat van. So how's your drawing going, Tom? Oh, eh, it's away from me at this point. I can't control <laughs> it anymore. Um, could, could you like give Neil some hands or something? I just feel like he should be represented in some way. How are you, about? Are you like drawing a portal to the nether realm? I guess. Something's happening. You know what, let me give a quick check to how much time we have. We have eight minutes left of our time on the show, and I would very much like to see what you can do in those eight minutes. I'll add Neil. Okay, cool. Neil, you're being added. Don't at me. Um, yeah, if you want to see some more amazing drawings, I think, Tom, you'd be up for another episode of Dude I Just Drew, right? Yeah. Yeah, you had fun last time. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry you lost. Oh. But... I just wasn't going as hard as I could have. He wasn't going ham, but next time he's going to show his this time true I'm power, right? 
Oh yeah, true, true power's coming yeah. out. Because uh, I mean, if I can, if I can channel the same dark energies that I'm doing here, right? <laughs> something will happen. Dark energies, you say? Oh, it's dark energies. <sighs> okay. I'm worried. I don't know if I want to be there for the next episode. <laughs> Really, my favorite chords are uh, sevens uh, because a, a normal full C chord, uh, a ninth, I believe, would sound like that, right? Mm -hmm. Very plain. I prefer something more uh, flavorful, like a seventh, which sounds like, Ooh. right? Right. Yeah, it's got a little something to it. Yeah, and then when you combine sevens, like uh, uh, like a G sharp seven. Would be like, and that just turns immediately jazzy. And I like jazz, and there's some jazz happening on that paper. God, man. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think God has anything to do with this. <laughs> I don't think God had a hand in this drawing. Um, I'm sorry. Is that Neil? Yeah, that's Neil. Is that a little Neil? Right He's being absorbed. <laughs> can, you, can you flip that over so that Neil can see it? Neil. Ah, uh, Neil gives it his uh, mm. approval. Uh, I'm gonna grab uh, my water real quick and grab Stan, the, uh, the head here. That was the name of the head, right, Neil? Uh, Jeremy. This is Jeremy. He was infected by something, um, as I understand the canon lore goes. And now he's completely unbalanced and <laughs> and really just can't do anything. Um, it's some really cool prosthetic work. Uh, Neil, you wanna come over here real quick? No. Just come here. Come here. Come here. I want you to talk about your zombie makeup. What did you do to make this? I uh, covered it in rubber and toilet paper. Wow. <laughs> Neil made this. <laughs> out of rubber and toilet paper, um, which is really impressive. It reminds me of Half-Life, right? Infect or, uh, Halo Flood. Yeah, just really just any infection that makes your face explode into tentacles. Well, that's what's going on here. Oh? <laughs> Wait, are you drawing? I swear to God, don't. don't. Don't mess me up. I was I was liking how normal I looked, but now I feel like I'm not gonna be looking so normal. Any requests? Neil, got any uh, music requests? Um. Right, I love that song. Play it for 
one more time? <laughs> oh. Right, okay. Zelda. It was nice. Ocarina. It was calm. That, you know what, that reminds me of some Ocarina of Time stuff too. Kind of. You yeah. remember the Redeads? Oh, no, I do not. Okay, the Redeads are basically zombies, but like for kids. I think I know what you're talking about. Zombies for I've kids. I've never played the game, but I kind of, I think I know what you're getting at. Some people in the 90s were actually a little bit scarred by those, because they're like zombies in a kid's mm -hmm. game. Pretty crazy. Yeah. That's why we only let like kids fourteen and up participate in zombie camp. Yeah. Cause like what even? Um here I'll just see I'll put my little signature on it. Let's let's start the countdown. How much time we got, Neil? Minute and a half. Okay, we have a minute and a half, so I think um I'll play one quick round of um Megalovania and then we're gonna cut it off. Alright, let's take a look at your finished product, Tom. Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to analyze this real quick. Now I see I have a flower in my head. Yes. I like it. Is that a tulip? I don't know. It's like a little, little thorn. Okay. A little pod off my right shoulder. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm just kind of standing there sta uh, stagnant. Mm -hmm. um, Neil's being dissolved. Neil's being dissolved. He also kind of looks like a little voodoo doll. Kind of, yeah. Little plush, like a little plushy Neil. It's like a dry apple. Kawaii Neil or something. Right? Yeah, and that's Neil backwards. Oh, wow. <laughs> he went so <laughs> dark with this. There's some real <laughs> symbolism yeah. here. Is this why you like charcoal so much? Because it's <laughs> dark? I had no idea what I would be doing today, and this just no, sort of happened. I, I love this. This is yeah. fantastic. Um, so you're drawing a portal to hell. Uh, Okay, um, that's very cool. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Dude, I just drew. Dude, I just woke up, Missoula. I'll save that for the DVD cut. <laughs>